It's May 5th in our Proverbs challenge. And so we've been doing a challenge to read one chapter of Proverbs every day for the month of May. And when we get to the end of May, we'll have read the whole book of Proverbs with the hope of being wiser. See, Proverbs is a wisdom book, and it gives us insight into how to live life so that we can live it to its fullest. Well, today's conversation is about marriage. In fact, the whole chapter of Proverbs chapter 5 is about marriage. It's Solomon talking to his sons. But not only is he talking to his sons, he's talking to everybody. He's talking to everybody that ever has been married or anybody that's thinking about getting married. And he's giving them wise words about marriage, specifically about this. Stay true to your spouse. Adultery leads to destruction. My wife and I have been married for 17 years. In fact, this year we'll celebrate 20 years together. I met my wife when I was 19 years old. Little did I ever think that at 19, when we first started hanging out, that it would lead to marriage. We were both playing sports at the time. I was playing basketball. She was playing volleyball at the school that we were going to. And all I was thinking at the time was, man, she's very attractive. I need to get to know her. Well, after hanging out for a while, it got to the place where I knew she was the one. And so two and a half years later, I proposed. We got married at 22 years old. Almost 26, we had our first kid, and now 17 years later, 20 years together, here we are. In fact, I look at this young couple over my shoulder, and there's so many things I'd love to tell them. But the thing I would tell them more than anything, enjoy it. It goes by so fast. And Solomon's words today to us are to enjoy the wife of your youth to have fun, to make the most of it, and not to look elsewhere. Don't look to somebody else's wife or somebody else's husband. Enjoy the wife or husband of your youth. Because if we don't, if we look elsewhere, it only leads down a road of destruction. Yet in our lives today, there are many people that have not taken those words to heart. In fact, there are actually websites out there today that encourage people to go down that path of adultery. In fact, I was just reading recently of a website that in this time of quarantine has seen their membership increase by 10% every day. Because as people are together, they're realizing how unhappy they are and they're looking someplace else. Well, Solomon says don't do that because that will only lead to destruction. Instead, what should we do? We should enjoy our spouse. And so in this time, here's our challenge. Work on your marriage. Work on your marriage. Don't look elsewhere. Look to the one that you are with. And if you aren't married, take these words to heart. Marry the one that you will enjoy your whole life. And if you're at that place and if you are married, take this time to work on your marriage and enjoy each other. If you don't know how, get a hold of me. If you're struggling right now, I'd love to help you. I've talked to many couples. In fact, I know a number of individuals that have gone through this process before or are in a season right now being together all the time where things are getting kind of tough. And there are many things out there, though, to help us move forward so we will experience joy and marriage will be a blessing. I heard a number of years ago, what if marriage was meant to make you holy rather than happy? But here's the deal. I think it's both. I think marriage is meant to make us happy and holy. And when we do it well, it glorifies God because the world sees how much Jesus loves us through our relationship with our spouse. What a great challenge today in Proverbs as we read it. As we put these words into action, as we apply them to our lives, they will make us wiser and we will experience a blessing and life in the way that we never have before. I hope that's what's happening in your life. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.